Welcome to an episode of Diamond's Marine Biology Exploration Experiences. Today we will be exploring acclimating freshwater mollies into a full marine saltwater environment. Most aquarium hobbyists know mollies as a peaceful community fish in freshwater. In fact, mollies are a popular choice for a freshwater community tank and can easily be found at your local pet store. Mollies live in both brackish and freshwater in their native environments but can be found in an ocean full of salt water near the Keys of Florida or where fresh water meets the ocean waters. Brackish water is salt water and fresh water mixed. The water is saltier than fresh water, but not as salty as the ocean salinity. There are many varieties of mollies in the world. The main differences of mollies are colors and patterns. You can find mollies in colors of black, white, Dalmatian, gold, and a combination of these colors. Sizes and shapes of mollies may differ as well. Mollies generally live in shallow waters with temperatures of 72 to 78 degrees with an average pH range of 6.7 to 8.5. Mollies feed mainly on algae and plants. Our diamond studio took on the challenge of acclimating full freshwater Dalmatian mollies into full marine saltwater with a salinity of one in 23 thousandths. We bought four Dalmatian mollies at our local pet shop. We ensured that the mollies were healthy and ick was not present. We also bought a 10 gallon aquarium to start the process. We wanted to start out the acclimation period with the current living environment the mollies had been used to. We filled the 10 gallon aquarium halfway with fresh water followed by a dechlorinator and slime coat to help the mollies transition. We then floated the bag of mollies from the pet store for nearly 30 minutes to ensure the temperatures were congruent in both the housing bag and the aquarium water. We added a heater to regulate temperature to as close to 77 degrees as possible. We also added in air bubbles to help with the mixing of water and to support oxygen levels. Next, we mixed RODI water with salt to a natural salinity level of 1 and 23 thousandths. We used a drip alchemator that involves a siphon that introduces salt water from a bucket at a rate of one drip every couple of seconds. The siphon would break air and stop adding after about a gallon. We allowed time for the water to properly mix with the fresh water before starting the process all over again the next day. Every couple of days, we would take out two cups of water. Each day, we checked the salinity level until day nine, when the salinity level reached our goal target. Last, we started to add cycled tank water from one of our tanks into the Molly Aquarium. After a few days, we placed each Molly into their permanent home. We first observed the Mollies for the next several days to watch out for their health. The transition from full fresh water to full salt water was a success, and our Mollies are thriving. They even had babies. Wow! Thank you for allowing us to share our marine biology learning experiences.